Hi, I'm Brian Matsui, and I'm one of the editors at Morrison and Forrester's Federal Circuitry blog. In a post I wrote last week, I took a look at a very important motion, injunctions or stays pending appeal. As readers know, oftentimes it's important to try to get that interim relief while the Federal Circuit reviews a case. If you're a patent owner, you may be trying to get an injunction pending appeal to keep a competitor's product off the market. And if you're an alleged infringer, you may be trying to get a stay in an injunction in order to keep your product on the market. Now, these motions arise in other contexts too. For example, in government contracts cases, it's sometimes important for a contractor to try to prevent performance under an award. And whether or not you can get that interim relief really can be ballgame. That's not to say you can't get relief at the end of the case, but that relief that you might get might be very diminished if you don't get that stay or injunction pending appeal. So when we took a look at this, I wondered how often do people actually succeed in these motions? Was it going to be like a Hail Mary? Well, what did I find out? I found out that it's more like succeeding on third and long than a Hail Mary. I took back and looked at five years of these motions, about 60 cases, and I found that the movements actually succeeded 16.7% of the time. Now, that's not bad. Now, was there any category of case in which the movement succeeded much more? Yes, there was one. So why don't you take a look at our blog post, take a few minutes to read it, and find out. Thanks very much. Until next time, stay safe. Thank you.